All right, Libras, let's get it. Let's see what else is in your reading. This is what's to come. This is what's to come. Like I said in your previous reading, we just talked about like how you can help people by praying for them, like praying for them and just, you know, pulling people birth charts and things like that so that you can rest, right? We're coming in for the home stretch. We're in the uh, waning crescent moon phase. And so this is going to speak to the next cycle that we're coming up on. Okay, let's get it. Let's see, let's see, let us see, let us see. All right. Here you are sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts and just kind of sort of how things are structured for you, right? And just how the material world for you, you know, came to be. Here we have the Queen of Swords here. You're sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. Here we have Hierophant, right? Learning how to get away from energy, saying it's not your your responsibility to be around materialistic energies, right? They just want anything. Remember, you're moving from your heart chakra. Some people root for them. You know, they'll do anything to hang on to material possessions. And some people, you know, are, like I said, some people are saying, hey, if that means I got to, you know, whatever, whatever. Here we have the seven of cups here. And so I definitely see a lot of temptations around you, but you're also weighing the pros and cons right now. And now you're in the light about some things. Here we have the five of wands. Fire sign could be involved in, or it could be a person who's on the cusp of Aries and uh, Taurus could also be involved, you know, some stuff. Here we also have uh, the King of Cups here. You're also learning how to manipulate your own emotions and also teaching other people how to manipulate theirs, if that makes any sense to you. Because that's what it really boils down to is like really te each one teach one. So if you're around people who, you know, um, they'll do anything strange for change or funny for money, you know, and um, you're teaching people how to letting them know that, you know, um, how to listen to that fire like that, that like motivating them in a personal, you know, in a, in a space, helping to keep them motivated, um, especially if they're around people who use their fire for evil, like they prey on people who who have. Um, feelings of low self-worth or connected to narcissistic energies or connected to, you know, uh, people who are bullies or can't control their fire. So they sit around, they gossip and try to ruin people's lives and that kind of stuff. You're saying now you're sitting on your throne, you said, that's not my, I don't want to be connected to those types of energies at all. I don't want, I only want to be connected to those types of energies because that's not just that your heart chakra is not uh, wired like that. And, um, so yeah yep so let's see what else we got going on here let's see what else we got going on here um let's see what else we got going on here all right so let's see what else we got going on here yeah let's see what else we have going on here libras yeah so like i said before just the material world of just kind of things are you're kind of sort of reshaping those thoughts and just recognizing that certain things some people are just lost they not they don't want to get their heart chakra right and so you trying to get your heart chakra right is going to show you that you're looking for common with things you have in common where some people they thrive off of things that people find you know they need friction in their lives you know in order to you know feel like they've conquered something so here we have the four of swords here we also have the three of wands here we also have the moon card the empress card the magician card and also the temperance card right so here we have the empress card so it lets me know that you know you are initiating this some kind of a change for your abundance and your potential fulfilled. Like, okay, I'm cutting ties with some energies because their way of thinking is so significantly different from yours. They like to be in they like to be in the trenches of chaos and confusion where you're trying to build a light. You're trying to get some structure. All they care about is material things. That's where you see a lot of people will sacrifice other people just for the material. They just want to be a part of it. Who do I need to? Who do I need to use to get into something, right? Here was the temperance card here, right? So again, at this point where you are, you desire harmony and resolution of conflict in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's why you saw in your previous reading that sources said it's time for you to develop some kind of a strategy because other energies are strategizing in a negative sense because they feel like you're holding some secrets, like you're not saying something, you're not telling something, when really you're just moving through a rite of passage. You are learning how to say, okay, I'm coming into my own, I'm just coming into my own way of thinking for myself. 
I don't want to be under somebody else's mind control. Here's the moon card right here. You're just dealing with some energies that are delusional. They straight up delusionals. They um, they don't believe in anything except whatever rules and structures they have. People have deposited into their spirit. And so for you to think outside the box and you want to dream bigger, you want to do this, you, you will start believing in yourself. And I want to start this business. I want to do that. they like, hold on, Calpo. You can't do all of that. But yes, you can because source is the one that put it in your spirit. Here we also have the four swords. And I do see you finally getting some rest, letting some things from the past rest in peace. Here's the magician card, right? So you're learning how to take your power back, really. You're learning how to take your power back because you really desire harmony, right? So you're letting some things rest. Three of wands here. So again, I, I see that... Um, you're in the light about some things and sources that it's time for you to take a leap of faith in every area of your life. Don't even worry about the energies that God put in your life for a short period of time because they were on their journey as well. So that's something, like I said, rose colored glasses being removed. You know, some, some people get obsessed. They're like, I got to get this person back into my life. And that's the, that's the energy that they're on, right? That's why your head and heart could be at war with each other. There could be some fear, some anxiety around it and you know, and, you know, but they give, the, give it no more energy whatsoever. None. You don't even have to be indecisive about it at all. Just continue moving forward. Continue moving forward. You're divinely protected, so you don't have anything to worry about. Let's see what else we got going on. Here we have the four of wands. Yeah, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulder because it's not your responsibility to carry that weight. Like I said, somebody else has gone through exactly the same thing you've gone through. They've gone through the exact same thing. You know, people who, and so Source is keeping you busy. It's two types of situations. Source is keeping them busy so that you can develop a strategy. So Source is keeping them busy so that you can develop a strategy. So it could mean, like, let's say, for instance, there's kids involved, like we saw in the previous video, right? And I'm looking at this video right here, right? They so busy fighting each other, they don't even realize that your prayers about your child is being answered or your children are being answered. They so busy going at each other's throats like this, swinging barrels and, and wands, they can't even get it together. And your prayers are being answered and you're like, that's not my responsibility. I'm going in and I'm um, working on making sure my child knows where, and that's your even your inner child if you don't have kids. Your inner child knows where you're going, right? Your MC, some of those job professions and those kind of things. And here we have the four of cups. So you're not giving it any more emotions whatsoever. So some kind of proposal is coming across your path, something that you ask God for. But there's some people that's under judgment right now, right? You're, you're trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses. You're going through a very powerful transformation, and they're obsessed with pulling you back into some stuff. They're under judgment right now. They're watching people. You're trying to work hard. Continue working hard, creating some kind of strategy to get away from that type of energy. People who don't believe in the power of source within them because they want you to believe in them, like believe in human instead of believing in the power of source within you, right? So, yeah, and so how people do it is like, like I say, very aggressive tactics, bullying, that kind of thing. So source will turn turn the enemies, your enemies on each other to give you a way to get through another up through another passageway, right? And so that's what that's what's happening here. Yeah, that's what's happening here. And so, you know, again, every time people come to you, they're getting a gesture crown. You're a thinker, you're very smart, you know, you're logically thinking through things. So you're teaching essentially you're teaching some people how to think. There's the tower card. Like I said, all hell is breaking loose in people's lives. Now it had nothing to do with you. You know how to pray. Here we have the nine of swords. You're waking from a nightmare that you may not have seen before, but you see now. Here we have the six of cups, right? So you moved on from the depth of disappointment. So it's like somebody says, okay, I can't live in this state of disappointment so much so that I can't be of any earthly good to people who are going through some stuff. First and foremost, the people who made it to the other side, you know, with you. Here we also have the seven of cups. Yeah, it's, it's very tempting to vibrate on a lower frequency, especially when you're dealing with when you're dealing with certain types of energies, but that's why a source is saying, I'm bringing a soulmate into your life to help you, and I'm putting you a part of a, getting you a part of a community of energies that's going to help keep your water filled so that you're not stressed out over the situation. So be very careful and be mindful that you're learning how to not expect other people to 
hold on to your dirty water that you've, uh, you know, those emotions, like, you know, you're not bringing a bunch of anxiety into the workplace. You're not bringing it into your social groups, those kind of things. And you're not, ex it's one thing to ask people to hold space, but to expect for them to hold on to it and carry it with you, codependency. You're not trying to create codependent relationships. That's a setup for failure every single time. So, um, it's some energies that's sort of judgment card trying to pop out again. That's definitely under some kind of judgment. Could be a, a spiritual organization, could be under some kind of judgment because I'm looking at this higher font card here. But source is saying to you, you know, you have a higher mind and innate spiritual understanding of things. And, um, and, and like I said, there's a lot of bullying going on, a lot of strong arming going on. But like I said, even with the strength card, source is teaching you about inner wisdom. You know, source is teaching you about mastering spirit matters and uh, self healer. And you see the energies that have the, their strength card is in reverse, the inability to control the things that they're passionate about. So it's a lot of swinging sword, I mean, swinging wands or tiki torches. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. But like a lot of strong armor. I got to show it's very toxic masculinity energy. I got to show who's the tough. I got to show who's the survival of the fittest and this and that. It's just chaos, just chaos and confusion. And so that's what Source is saying. I'm getting you away from that. I'm getting you away from a bunch of chaos and confusion. Why are they fighting? Thanks, Source, for a strategy. They are just going at it with each other. Source is saying that's where your, your prayer life is increasing. Thank you, God, for an exodus strategy away from that. So do a root chakra cleanse at the root. Root chakra cleanse. There's too much music online for you not to know. Sacral chakra cleanse. Solar plexus chakra cleanse. The source is trying to rebuild somebody from the root. Yeah. Heart chakra cleanse. Wow, you going away. You going, it's like stack, 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 stack. Because root chakra is the first, sacral is the second, solar plexus is third, heart chakra is fourth. Wow. Third eye chakra cleanse. Wow. Okay. Throat chakra cleanse, right? So, okay, so this is interesting. And then crown chakra cleanse. So it was interesting, okay, so the throat, the third eye came first before the throat chakra. Usually it's the other way around. So source is saying, I've opened your eyes to some things, right? Your third eye is wide open because these are the higher chakras, right? And what you say from now on to this point or what kind of energy, because remember it's ear, nose, and throat. So whatever kind of scent you give out, it's not always what you say because these people are in survival mode. And so they've learned how to listen to what people don't say. So if you look like you give off the scent of some kind of anxiety, they pick up on that scent very well. You know, like a person who is... You know, I saw this video where this, uh, this group of people was, uh, they were on a hiking trip and a bear just came out from nowhere, right? I don't know who keep telling people that bears can't climb trees. <laughs> like, what, what, like what planet people are on? They don't know that bears can climb trees, right? But anyway, so they were telling the girls, stay still. You know, somebody was videoing the whole thing. Y'all may have seen it on Instagram. It's like one of the reels or whatever. And telling her to just stand still. And um, and I, and she kind of had like, I don't know if it was a scared grin on her face or whatever the case, but she was really trying not to give off the scent of fear. Eventually, the bear walked away, sniffs and sniffs, you know. But had she tried to outrun the bear or climb a tree or her heart was racing, so she had to really calm it all the way down. And I think it was because the other energy were around her, you know, it's not like they could have fought off the bear. I mean, they could have thrown something at the bear, hit the bear on the nose, and then they would have become the target. But source is saying the distraction of knowing that your ancestors are around you and protecting you is also helping you and also putting you in social circles where people are like, no, we got you covered. We got your back. We already know we've been through that too. Whether it's online, you know, your community online or people that's letting you know that you're divinely protected, whether you never physically met them or not. But there's energies around you that's telling you, be careful with your throat chakra. It's ear, nose, and throat. Listen, go back to your memories and how they talk talk about people and what they say and how this this toxicity so source wants you to get all your chakras together and so listening to water sounds on a regular basis is going to help you to cleanse off <clears throat> remember the nightmares that you've come through a lot of people don't want to remember their nightmares it's like that's too traumatic to go back in my mind to remember those nightmares but there's some distrust that's been there's some distrust people don't really trust you anymore that's why there's a uh that's why there's a 
you know, strat, they're up to something. And you saw that in the previous video. They don't trust you anymore. They feel like, okay, something is getting to them. They either watching something, they on to something, they know something. So you're not, so again, you're dealing with some very delusional energy. So intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusions. A fast path to delusion. So wherever you were headed to, you're saying, God, thank you for an exodus strategy out of it. Thank you for an exodus strategy out of it. Yeah, because there's two types of situations in particular. Like I said before, they are under judgment. Don't let your pride get in the way. You could have Leo somewhere in your birth chart. Don't let your pride get in the way. Leo is the strength card, right? So this right here is the strength card. So it's just saying you're dealing with energies that are, they have an inability to control the things that they're passionate about. So if they're obsessed in going after people and they're passionate about it, right? You can't stop an energy that's already just kind of like, but source can, right? That's why you have the tower card. Source can stop them, so you don't need to give off the scent of fear. But you, at the same time, you don't also you also don't need to give off the scent of I wish a so and so would either, right? Because that's like again, this is not a fight against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual. You're dealing with energies that are spiritual warfare. They're not even themselves. They don't even know. Here we have the world card, but so cycles are closed out, and you're moving forward. Something has been fulfilled. You're divinely protected. Here's the strength card again. You know, you're dealing with energies that like to try to strong arm people, you know, into some kind of fear, and so you cannot give off the set of fear whatsoever at all. Here we also have the sun card. Yeah, the sun card, because that's what they, that's what energies like that want. They like, remember, you being in your light exposes their darkness, right? And they're going down, 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 down. Judgment is, is already uh, descended upon them. Like I said, they're under judgment. We saw the judgment card. I saw the judgment card in another deck, but it came out again to further re reiterate that there's some energies that's under judgment right now. They're under judgment. You're going through a total transformation in your personal and your professional life. And so, um, but they are all, they're being forced to change. They're being forced to change. Like some, so they're in the judgment in reverse. You are, you are chosen to go through a total transformation. They are not. They're like, they got to be forced. Like, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all tragic to watch. Really. Let's see what else we got going on here. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and see what else we got going on here so we can go ahead and close this out. Knowledge. Your knowledge is actually, you're gaining more knowledge directly from source, right? So three and six obviously is nine. Nine is the number for death, rebirth. You're, you're gaining more knowledge about what the rebirth side looks like for you, okay? All right, let's see what else we got, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. But yeah, you're getting everything, your chakras, all the way up to your crown chakra. But remember that that third eye came out before the throat chakra. So source is saying your eyes have been awakened. This is stuff you can't unsee at this point. So you're going to have to move differently. And with your throat chakra has to be clear. You know, meaning that, okay, you got to be careful what you say, what you do. Here we go. Number eight, I am successful. Your talent for reaching and setting goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving anything you wish. You're uh, achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. You're dealing with some energies. You see that number eight looks like the infinity symbol turned to the side. They're in a negative loop. They're in a, a negative cycle, right? And sources broken you away from a negative cycle. So... You can pray for energies, you know, that they get out of a negative cycle, but it's their, it's free will. They're going to have to, the source is not making them do anything. They're going to feel forced that they have to change their ways. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are the cards? All right. Yeah, you're coming into some sacred knowledge from source prosperity. I am um, I am determined to win. And again, this is not a win up against flesh and blood. You're not going to go, you know, punch somebody out or go off. And this, you should be passionate about serving source. Okay. Source, what is my assignment for the day? I've already prayed over some things. I've pulled bird charts. I've done X, Y, and Z. And really like, you know, like I said, I am determined to win. I am diligent. I'm defeating the odds. I am warrior strong. I summon my highest self to take control today. I invest my time wisely. I am persistent. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.